Well, let's take a moment to focus on your health. Unlike food allergy, which generates an immediate response, food sensitivities can be much harder for people to detect. Here with the impact of food sensitivities is Professor of Medicine and Digestive Diseases, Dr. Wajahat Mahal. There are a number of differences between food um, allergies and food sensitivities. Uh, primarily, food allergies will typically give symptoms fairly quickly after the food item is eaten, sometimes within seconds or, and certainly uh, within minutes. Um, um, where with, with food sensitivities, the symptoms can often come on you know, days and even weeks after the food item is eaten. New testing methods can, can help people um, identify sensitivities and improve their health. Uh, by you know, really taking the guesswork out of which food items that patients might be sensitive to. Um, so they um, can provide objective information um, and we have um, actually tested one of these methods, the ALCAT test, in a clinical trial um, and demonstrated that when patients follow the guidance of the ALCAT test, um, these are patients with irritable bowel syndrome, that they actually have a significant improvement in their symptoms. People can interpret the results from the food sensitivity test actually quite easily because there will be a list um, of items that they are highly sensitive to. Um, typically, this is a, a short list of about five or six, but it could be longer depending on the individual. Um, what's more challenging is how to implement um, this information in your daily life. Um, and. Um, the testing actually gives patients access to a dietitian who can help them um, modify and improve their, their their diet. And of course, I would always encourage patients to work closely with their healthcare provider as well. For more information on what I've discussed today, you can go to previmedica.com.